Ryle Kitty. <coughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Ryle Kitty, and today we are playing Silent, the Silent Age, <laughs> not just Silent Age, the Silent Age. Can't forget the the. And this is part eight, chapter eight, yeah. outside our Archon. Archon. You gotta pronounce it right now that they told us how. And it looks like a party. Yeah, disco party, man. Yeah. So last time we had uh, we met um, Lambert. Is that his mm -hmm. name? Yeah, I think he so. He almost shot us. Luckily, he didn't. But he gave us all the background on what's going on. It was a very long cutscene. Uh, we won't yeah. we won't uh, rehash all that. If you were, if you're interested, go back and watch part seven. Yeah. <laughs> it takes up about the last ten minutes of the video. That was our longest part yet. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, let's jump in here with uh, part eight, chapter eight, outside Archon, having learned of the viral outbreak from Dr. Lambert, Joe must make his way back to Archon on the night before the event to destroy the computer that controls the time machine. But first, he must find a way in. All right, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. As RK would say. All right. Hey, look, we're outside of Archon. Parking meter. Franco has told me these things steal and cheat like his uncle twice removed. Makes me kind of glad I didn't drive a car to work. So I guess I need a code or something to... It's Frank's old nemesis, Mr. Gobbles Dimes. Keypad. I don't have my access card. Besides, you need a code to enter after hours, and I don't know the combination. It's closed for the night. They have night guards, but there's a strict policy about not letting anyone in after hours. Dang. It's my workplace. It looks so anonymous and unassuming from the outside. I like how there's like a disco club, disco tech attached to Archon. Yeah. The Neon Zone nightclub. All right, time to party. It's nice in here. Ooh, a quarter. I guess I can put that in the parking meter. All I said, gobbles, dimes, disco ball. With all the rugs, syringes, and burning branches I've put to good use lately, I'm starting to trust my sense of what stuff might come in handy. And that bad boy is definitely coming with me. <laughs> He's going to steal the disco ball. Oh, I can go to the go back to the future, too, um, with the time machine. So, oh, man, that's... This is water. I wasn't expecting that cold. So cold. Is that the disco ball? Oh no, that's a corpse. That's a skull. <laughs> but that was the disco ball. Ick, it's a person. At least it used to be. Before I go back, anything else cool? Guess in he here? didn't make that far. Let's look at this cable. Oh, I got it. The thick, heavy-duty cable. This could come in handy. I agree. Hmm. But what for? Stairs are missing and the door seems to be nailed shut. All right, let's go back again here. All right, what does this button do? I don't know, let's read the sign first. Please do not press this button. Oh, come on. If they really don't want people to press the button, why'd they put up the sign? I'm going to push it. Hey, don't <laughs> you be touching that. Sorry. Just looking. It's weird, like, what lines they added the voiceover to. All right, anything else before I talk to the bartender? Okay. Right on time. Welcome to the hippest joint in town, my man. We so underground, we literally four steps below the tarmac. Now, what can I do for you? Actually, I just saw the sign. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Of course you do. You here because you heard this place was jumping. And you heard right, my man. We got grooves so bad, we make Studio 54 look like off-season fat camp. <laughs> it's nice. kind of empty in here. Yeah, no, I know, man. We literally just opened like five minutes ago. They, they coming. They all coming. Don't you worry. You're going to be knee-deep in honeys before you know it. Believe that. Now, uh, what can old Cedric get you? Oh, Cedric. No. I could use a beer, I guess. A beer? A beer in here? You embarrassing me here, bud. I got university degrees in mixonomy and mixology. I mix mojitos for the gods. Just a beer, please. Man, you really going through with all that, ain't you? All right, seeing as you're the first patron of the night and all, uh, I'll let you have that one. That'll be a dollar. A dollar? Jeez. 
You sure weren't kidding about this being a high-class joint. All I have is a quarter. Look, I don't jack the prices, kid. This here establishment is just geared towards a more, shall we say, discerning clientele. Okay. But it's <laughs> empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, man. I got that. I know it's empty, all right? I can see that. I told you, we just opened. Now, you gonna pay for that beer or what? I I think I left my wallet in my jacket. I'll be right back. Oh, I'll be here. Alright, I don't have any clue what I'm supposed to do next. <laughs> well, I, I suppose I could go. I guess what I didn't do is I didn't go to the feature out here to see if there was anything. Charred pile. Hang on. It's a big pile of burned files and printouts. Several drawers worth from the looks of it. Some of the pages are still partially readable. The same thing. Hang on. Yeah. Hang on. Why is he saying hang on? I don't get it. Mm -hmm. Parking meter. Neat. Another quarter. Oh, I'm getting my dollar, I think. I'm working my way to a dollar. Good for you. <laughs> Is there a quarter in the keypad? Check this one. Maybe I'll get one more. Franco's told me. Okay, that's the same line as before. The van's still sitting there. Hole in the ground. Can I go down there? There's a big hole in the tarmac. Can I use this cable with this? Cable seems long enough, but I need something to tie it to. How about the parking meter? There we go. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this not tying. Oh, heck, I jinxed it. Now the cable's going to snap with me on it, and I'll die down there with two broken stumps for legs. Well, let's go down. Maybe there's some more quarters down there. i got to get my beer. Oh, it's a subway. I bet there's got to be a quarter down here. Pay phone, give me a quarter. Looks like it's been out of service for decades. Maybe in the future will be one. All right, before I go back. Cable. Run, Joe, run. Ooh, a hat. There's got to be a quarter in there. Yeah, three quarters. I bet in the future there's a quarter in that payphone. And I'll never get used to seeing this. Vent. The grating is actually a little bit loose now that the bolts have rusted. Can I pull it off? Ugh. No, still not rusting. I have to pry it off with my bare hands. I wonder if that's something I have to pry open later. By the looks of it, he's a vet. I think he's blind too. Stealing from a blind vet, I may have done a lot of objectionable things lately for the good of humanity, but I still have standards. Oh, I can go in here too? Sheesh. Well, they're doing some work. Ooh, a wrench. That's gotta be good Sir, for prying would off you that. you kindly step away from there? It's not safe. Prying off that vent. I'll talk to the welder. I distract him. Hey, a three-headed monkey. That didn't work. Monkey Island distraction. <laughs> oh, I suppose I could unplug his power supply out here. Maybe something. Let's see. Cable. Cable's probably used for welding going on inside the rail car. Right, let's see. Do I have a quarter in here? Yes. There we go. I got my quarter. Nice. All right, can I like do anything with this cable? Doesn't seem like it. All right. <laughs> Let's go get that beer. I don't know. I don't know if that's like what I want to do next, but let's, let's do it anyways. All right, now I got my dollar. Here we go. I've changed my mind. For the money, give me the fanciest drink you've got. <laughs> For one dollar. challenge, huh? All right, I'll bite. Prepare to be dazzled. One rainbow frosted hot lava slushy deluxe with a twist coming right up. So apparently I have to get that disco ball somehow. I don't know what the heck that would be for though. 
Well, you could press the button while he's down there. Oh yeah, good point. Good call, RK. You rock. Oh, it's coming down. Dang, I didn't even think of that. If I get busted for this, I want to go straight to jail without trial. I'd much rather prefer that than having to explain my reasoning behind this in court. It is complete. Whoa, hold your horses, Chief. This ain't your daddy's sparkling wine spritzer. Now, where did I put them quail eggs? What? <laughs> uh. Can I take the drink, too? Whoa. Man. That's... It's like the universe just revealed all of its secrets inside my mouth. <laughs> so is that all I... Is that the only thing I have to do is just drink... Um, or, or was the only purpose of the drink just to steal the disco ball? Sweet mercy. I guess. It's like riding sidecar with a unicorn down a mountain of cashmere sweaters. Kind of want to keep drinking it just to see what he says. Oh, mama. That's good. For uh, someone who just experienced a total taste revolution, I ain't never seen nobody look so troubled. What's on your mind, brother? You looking like the whole world is just resting on your shoulders. Uh, <laughs> kind of well, is. That's kind of it. It does. I mean, if I fail, that'll be the end of it, you know? Oh, oh I know where you coming from, champ. You, you do? Oh, sure I do. Right now, you probably asking yourself, how many nights I gotta go through this before I get it right? When do I get to unleash the lion? Do I even remember how? Well, take it from Seth. You just hit a rough patch is all, man. It ain't the end of the world. What? It kind of, it, no, no, it, it, it kind of almost is. Oh, I <laughs> loud and clear, Mac Daddy. Don't you worry about a thing. When the honeys come in tonight, you just stick to the bar and keep ordering. I got you covered. Tonight is the night, man. Believe that. By the way, and I gotta ask, what's up with them threads, man? That's gotta be the most unique night on the town get up I ever seen. Huh? Oh, this. Well, I came straight from work, so. Well, I dig it, eh? So keep it right up, man. It might just become the next big thing. All right, I'm gonna take one more drink. Baby, you're not like the others. We're not hitchhiking anymore. We're riding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So. Let's see, so can I do something with this disco ball and like the guy that's welding? Good idea. I'll just dazzle him into handing over his tools that or he'll throw me out on my butt and elbows. My money's on the ladder. Hmm. I don't think I'd come in here yet. Dark area. Too dark to see anything over there. I got I need some light, more light. Okay, maybe this. Whoa. Oh, there we go. Nice. Ooh, screwdriver. Screwdriver, I bet this will come in handy. Am I done with my disco ball now? All right, let's try this with that grate. Maybe I don't even need to mess with the welder guy. Yes. So, do I not need the wrench at all? Gosh. Between the rusty blades and whatever's been oozing in the water, even if there's a way to get through below the, uh, the water line, I'm not risking it. What am I, the flash? The fan will turn me into hamburger. Fan control box. 
Oh, so what's this valve? Okay, turn that. I opened the valve. I hear water rushing through the pipes. Okay. Big fan. Won't budge. And I can't squeeze through. I might be able to duck under, but the water smells like petroleum and raw sewage. Makes my legs feel prickly. <laughs> Doesn't sound good. It's a little drain pipe with a valve on it. I wonder where it leads. So I open the valve. Did that do something like out here? Confused now. Maybe let me go back into that disco area. Maybe it did something in there in the future. Oh, I think it drained it out. Oh yeah. That's what the valve was for. So is there something now I can get in here to deal with that guy with the welding torch? He's holding a revolver. Ooh. It's rusty, but the barrel just got all six. No, wait, five bullets left. One casing's empty. Ooh, I got a gun. This could be really useful. All right, nothing else on the floor, right? Should I stick them up? So we're just shooting people now? <laughs> sure, his prices threaten common decency, but other than that, he... Pr he poses absolutely no danger. I'd agree with that. His $1 fantastic drink is pretty pretty outrageously priced. Mm -hmm. All right. So can I stick up this guy with the wrench? Like, what am I supposed to do with his gun? Beats me. Let's try it. Why would you even think that? What's the matter with you, Joe? Preoccupied, not deaf. I mean, the only other thing I can think of is like to maybe shoot the shoot the control box over there. Let's try it. I don't know. Oh, he's gonna do it. Oh, it worked. Nice. What? Hey, it's the time traveler. Wait, what the heck? I just shot him? Hello? Is anyone in here? A oh, drat. The muzzle split. I guess this gun was a bit too rusty after all. This one I can turn off, I guess. Did I shoot the time traveler? Am I the one that shot him? I don't know. Plot twist. Well, hold on. Is there anything in here? I want. I don't think so. Okay. I can get this rifle. What on earth is a rifle doing here? I can't pick it up though. Toolbox. It smells like it was recently fired. Okay, I got a wire cutter. In no. This door. There's blood on the handle. Hello? Is anyone in there? Are you hurt? That was definitely Lambert that run in there, ran in there. Grating. This grating this grating's pretty sturdy, but I bet I could cut through with proper tools. It's a wire cutter, not a bolt cutter. Alright, so let me go. Let me go cut that guy's that welding, the dude that's welding, cut his wire out here. And then he should come out. Or cut her with cable. Another bad deed done in the name of humanity. Alright, now I can get his wrench, I bet. Okay, I got a wrench. Hope he doesn't mind. Uh, yeah, you better hope, because if he finds out, he's gonna be pretty <laughs> mad. Alright, I'm just gonna, I mean, the only thing I think of now is to use this wrench on that grating. See what happens. And you might be his first suspect. You think so? I don't know. You you kept trying to steal it earlier. 
All right, let's try it. Use wrench with grating. I'm gonna wrench it off. Not fastened with bolts. In fact, I can't see how it's fastened at all. Put on that, no. Should try using my hands first. Oh, I can just pry that off. It's locked. All right, let's go through here. So I didn't even need that. What's it look like in present times? Yeah, there's like nothing in here, so. There's a hatch. Maybe I just want to use that with this. Worked. Let's hop down. All right, we did it, RK. Nice. That was the end of part eight, chapter eight. Now we're inside our con. It looks like we're in the elevator. Hey, this looks familiar, like from the chapter one. Oh, it does. Where was, there was the little bit of blood. Yeah. Oh yeah, a tiny little bit of blood. <laughs> Maybe that was the guy when I just shot him. Maybe, Maybe. He, ran in, he ran into the elevator. Well, hey, if you enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Share this with a friend. Yeah. Leave us a comment. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, come back soon for Inside Archon. Yeah. Got just a couple chapters left to go in the silent age. So thanks again for watching. I'm Hag Baby. I'm Riled Kitty. You're watching. Riled Kitty. And we'll catch y'all soon in something new. Bye. Bye.